And we'll do, Spoon Pals out, we're gonna do a uh, real quick thing on the tableau here. I'm hoping. Now this is two different versions of this one. You can get with the antenna and one without. It has a recording capability, like a DVR type thing. Except with 50 internal hours, and you can also hook up a hard drive to it and record more of over-the-air TV. This is the basic one without the antenna. And the box is the main unit. Little instructions. Quick setup. Some wiring. DSL wire. And I believe this is the plug for the antenna. And also you can mount on the wall if you choose to do so. Another plug here. The unit itself has the power port, it has a DSL port, it has a USB port, and it has a port for the antenna standard coaxial antenna outlet. Pretty basic. Is it, it looks like a little speaker. Does it have sound coming out? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like Alexa. So I had to free up a port on my Wi-Fi, my router here. This will also work wireless through your Wi-Fi if you set it up that way. However, this is going to be the fastest interface to get it to other TVs. So I've got it plugged in, but the the plug isn't powered on right now. I've got the, the area network cable, and this is the cable to my antenna that's on the roof. I didn't need the one that comes with this. If I did, I'd be looking for a window that faces the... Uh, broadcast towers, which they should have something on the app about that. There it goes. Make sure that's in there tight. And I'll turn it on and go to the app and see if we can start powering it up, I guess. Go and get the Tableau app. Well, there's two of them. This is for the fourth generation. And this one is the legacy Tableau for the older versions. This one will not work on the new round fourth generation version. So get that one and open it up and it should walk you through. So I'm new to Tableau, so we'll start an account. And I'll have to enter in all my information. Started the registration. Uh, it sent me a access code via email. I just have to enter the access code and follow the directions. I've entered the code, just follow it through. Network set up. So it's gonna ask me to put in my Wi-Fi. It's gonna to have to set up my Wi-Fi and go from next. The antenna status. No, I've already, my antenna's on the roof, so no, I'm gonna skip that. Internet set up. Connect with Ethernet. It's already connected. All right, so now I got to plug everything in. So stand by while I do that. Got it plugged in, the light's solid. It says it'll search for it after the light's solid. So I'll go ahead and, go ahead and search. Chose the one it wanted me to pick. It's gonna update. Downloading the update. Stage three of the update update is to reboot. It's rebooting right now. Now I want to know where I'm at. Put in my location and my zip code. Now I want to scan for channels. So we'll see how long it takes to do that. 
said it found 89 channels and it wanted me to save it or rescan. I went ahead and saved it. Now it's looking for the schedules. Apparently it's got to download that. So it took about five, six minutes to download the channel guide. And it says it's going to do two more weeks of it in the background. And I'm just going to say start using. It's all ready to go. So we're just scrolling through. Some of these channels don't have any data on it. And I think we get to a point where there's some more with no data. It's, all, it's like that on my TV Guide app too. Then you get into, it looks like it has its own streaming stuff. So it's kind of like a maybe, I don't know, Samsung TV or Google TV. It has its own streaming categories that you can choose if you want. So this is my Google TV. I'm just gonna get it to the, my Tableau app there. Choose that. <laughs> and let's see if it should automatically pick, uh, detect the Tableau. Bam, done. So you watch live TV. Do it. So you watch live TV and tell it what. <laughs> you can see us in the reflection. I've had Tableau for a couple weeks now and just trying to you know, get the hang of it. But, um, and I haven't had any problems with on the, on the Roku platform, uh, except it would occasionally crash. Um, but usually a restart of the Roku would fix it. But in this case, I've been trying this since last night. Every time I try and go to the library, it crashes on me. See, it doesn't fill in the pictures where the shows are. And whenever I try and, oops, library, view all my recordings, bam, crashes. It's been doing this all night long and all this morning. So I haven't been able to view any recordings and up until just this minute, I haven't been able to get on live TV. So that's a problem for Roku. I haven't experienced on the Samsung, or actually it was a, it's a Google. I haven't experienced for the Google TV. All right, to complete this video, I'm going to pretty much show you what my setup is. I have a external antenna. I did not buy the included antenna that comes with Tableau. My shop TV is what I'm gonna be using. It's approximately maybe 120 feet away from the uh, Wi-Fi but I have a extender in the window here. Just to show you what speeds I'm working with here, I'm gonna start this test. And it shows, it's gonna start off with a ping, it shows if we're getting SD, HD, or 4K amounts of speed. I don't think I have 8K, 8K capabilities with my extender. So I'm getting oh, close to 40 megabits per second. And in the area of probably 12 in the upload. It's going to be a Google TV. And I've had experience of working with compatibility as far as that goes. Tableau loads about the same as it does on Google or Roku. I haven't been able to install it on Samsung. I don't know if it's not available or if my TV is just not uh, up to date enough. Uh, I haven't tried out Fire TV, apologize for that, but it, they pretty much have the same uh, load speed, same compatibility, same uh, structure as far as what you look at. Now what I have, you can watch live TV. I noticed right now on our PBS stations, it's not coming in 
very well. So it's, like I said, it's a weak signal here. It usually doesn't do that. The tableau itself has a amplifier in the uh, unit itself that, it, that works off the signal. My antenna has an amplifier in itself. But right now the weather's just not good and it's not working. But other channels, Come in very well. In the main menu, it starts off with the home here. This gives you stuff that it recommends for you. Uh, you have your library, the things that you're able to record. And it shows, like in the bottom corner here, it's going to show that I have 33 cent of percent available on a two terabyte uh, hard drive. Now, this is a lot of space. The actual cell, the unit itself comes with about 50 hours of recording. This is increases it exponentially to, I think it's around, a, I wanna say about a 500 hours. So you can scroll through and look at what's in your library. What you have scheduled to record, all the recordings you have so far other TV shows or movies, you can single them out, or sports. I wanted to say about sports, I recorded both the um, Super Bowl and the Daytona 500. However, both went over. So if you're gonna record sports, make sure you, uh, there's, a little, uh, there's a little option whenever you're recording sports to schedule it with an extra time. Another thing you can do is you're looking at live TV, say you want to schedule stuff. You can go over here to shows, which shows you what's on right now. Then you can go down to genres, has a lot of the, and then you can check out individual channels, see what's coming up on each one. So on this channel, we'll say, oh, 7.1 PBS, all of these shows Will be coming up within the next 14 days and you can click and choose to record them based on when they are showing up so i'm going to record mr rogers neighborhood it shows you the upcoming episodes for the seasons and then you can schedule the recording you can record all or just the new episodes if you record all it will if you record all it will record the episodes that are coming up, but it does not record multiple. So you'll get the one that's coming up. This is the same episode and it's going to be recording that one. This one's the same episode. Well, actually these are different. However, this episode has a conflict. So you'd have to go and see what the conflict is. Um, I just hit don't record. I'm going to take it off anyway, but you'd have to go and find out on that day. What is the conflict and either choose which recording you want to choose from. And if you want to cancel it, just don't record. And you don't have to be home. It'll record up to two channels at a time. But also you can record infomercials. So now once you get past the local channels, which you, unfortunately I'm holding it down. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, the other remotes doesn't scroll down. If you just hold it down, it goes down individually. Now these, once it's, it gets past the numbered channels, these are the channels that come, that are included with the Tableau unit. So you can go and scroll through and see which, I think there's uh, movie channels, uh, there's sports channels, there's powder is snow, surf or skateboarding. Just find out which one you want to look. So they have dedicated channels just for certain things. And these are streamed through your internet provider. These are not over the air. So you get, typically you get a little bit better uh, recording on these because you're not depending on how the, you know, the transmission of the over the air broadcast. If you want to just look at what movies are coming up, same thing, you can scroll through genres and choose which one you want. 
say action. There's all the action movies that they have. I have noticed some of these don't pop up on, I mean, if I see it on another, like a TV guide, sometimes it's not listed under here. So it's might, it's not all in detail, but I, I think overall it's pretty good. So I'm going to go back to my library, find something that I've noticed. Now your older shows are all standard definition. They're not gonna come in beautifully, but I very rarely, I've had this happen maybe, maybe three or four times, and a recording will come in and the sound and the video are gonna be not synced up properly. So I'll give you a... Young blood on the job. Well, then how they gonna decide who goes and who stays? And this is off by about five to 10 seconds. So it's kind of annoying. You can't really watch the episode. I don't know if this is a broadcast problem or if it's a uh, problem that happens as it's recording. I, I, I'm not really sure. But when you want to delete your episodes, you can either, you can mark them as watched. You can keep them on there because it's, when it gets full, it's going to start recording over the oldest episode. So if you like something particular, you can protect it or you can just delete it. Now this was on PBS, the channel that wasn't coming in very well. This actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's it's digital quality. Like you can fast forward. Now it says unknown error, but you just back out of it and it still plays for some reason. And you can fast forward through to see what you want. In the world. And with the sound, it still comes he in pretty is good. Every man. But and the picture is really good. Every man. He was a Nobel Prize winning. Well, these episodes can be fast forwarded or rewound. One of the problems I've seen is, is when you rewind a good deal, there's sometimes a pause that happens well, where it freezes. Pride. It'll and freeze the picture, pride. but the audio will continue. Now, it's not doing on this particular one. I don't know what causes this. And a lot of times what will, what will happen is the picture will freeze up. However, the, the audio still works. You can also still get subtitles if you have it showing up for subtitles. And it'll, that'll still work. However, picture just freezes up. Now, sometimes it freezes up, you know, depending on how far you rewind it. Um, for maybe 10, 20 seconds, sometimes it just stays frozen up. I usually just back out of it. And... Reclick watch episode and that usually takes care of it and I don't have to worry about it freezing or I don't have to worry about that freeze blocking what I'm watching. So when I click on the Roku app, I'm sorry, not the Roku, the Tableau app, it would just sit and spin and it wouldn't reload. I fixed it by backing out of it, exiting, and then restarting it and it loads again. This is what it'll look like when it's loading. Also has a big plumy <laughs> rainbowy effect. It takes a couple seconds, so it's not immediate. Now on some occasions I've noticed that whenever I'm scrolling through the live TV menu, some channels don't show up as being, uh, it's not doing it right now, but some channels will not show up as having anything on them. Let's see if I can find some, here we go. Another thing you'll get is the failed. This is when it's most likely whenever you're not getting a signal, it's good enough to record it. And you just go through and you can delete that episode. Another thing I want to show is this is probably not a problem with Tableau. It's probably has to do with the local broadcast, but this is supposed to be an episode of Barney Miller, but I've gotten amateur wrestling instead. <laughs> so it doesn't record. It says it's one thing, but it's not. So this is probably a programming issue. It's probably not, it has nothing to do with Tableau. I touched on it earlier, but when you're recording your know, sporting good or sporting events or stuff that may likely run longer, th something you'll have to do is uh, you'll have to come in and do your series recording options and your start time. You can choose, you know, do it five minutes early. And whenever it ends, you can go up to you know, several hours um, past whenever it's due to stop recording. And that'll save you from you know, having to miss the finale of whatever you're gonna watch like I did 
both during the Super Bowl and during the Daytona 500. <laughs> both of them went over. I didn't know who won until I Googled it. <laughs> Problem I have is it doesn't show exactly what is a scheduled conflict. You can't just go to all the conflicts and look at them. So I had to really scroll through and find a conflict. But when you get a conflict, you just note the, the channel, date and time, then you have to go and see what's conflicting with it on the actual, actual live TV menu. And you either have to choose between the shows because it'll record up to two shows at a time. In this case, a show starts at, at 10.30 and ends at 12.10. It's gonna conflict with this and it's not gonna record it properly. So you have to go there and manually adjust it in order to avoid the conflict. And you have to pick and choose whichever two programs you wanna watch. That's how you avoid that conflict as far. There's no automatic that I can find on here. If there is, let me know. If you've had some dealings with Tableau and you know exactly the, the best, uh, or there's some other option that I did not get into or I wasn't able to find, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, this isn't a bad, this is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. I've always said to myself, why isn't something like this available? Well, now it is. I think it's in its infancy and I think it's gonna get better. But as of right now, this is a pretty good option providing you add that external hard drive to it. Otherwise, you're just gonna get 50 hours of recording. If you don't wanna watch a lot of TV, that's great. But man, it really improves it. I think it, you throw, and you could throw in a, a two terabyte, one terabyte, five terabyte, whatever you want on there. And it doesn't have to be an SSD. It doesn't have to be powered. You can just, put on one of the portable drives and it'll work fine. But if you like this, tell me about it. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And put anything else that I, maybe something I missed or something you want to see in the comments. Boom Pals app, like, subscribe, comment, and share.